learning, to listen, to practice li listening skills, but also listen to the teacher to learn the, the subject matter or to understand the, the, the content knowledge. Is it right? Yeah. So uh, could you share who, uh, who can help me to turn on your microphone and share some specific activity you can do to, to make your listening activity active? Now, it's time for you to turn on your microphone and share with us, please. Yeah, who would like to, to say something about this one? How to keep listening active. Okay, me? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, hello. Hi. Okay, what's your name, please? Uh, my name is, my full name is Nguyen Thu Hương, and okay, you can nice call me Hương. Yeah, nice to meet you. Could you share something about this? Uh, well, some activities that I use in my class to uh, to keep listening active. Um, well, so uh, while, uh, while they are listening, I also give them some tasks. Uh, for example, when, they, um, when the student learn about the color, I would uh, bring some pictures. Uh, and, and then, um, and then uh, when I um, when move on to the, the color, the word, for example, the red, they, they will need to uh, paint the red on the picture. Or, mm -hmm. um, yes. <laughs> okay, you, sorry, sorry, Ms. Hung, you unmute yourself. Could you unmute yourself, please? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, so, yeah. so I was saying about uh, painting the picture with the color when they learn the words with the color. And for example, if they learn about the objects in the class, they would take um, they would take the, the object from they have like the pencil, the pen, or the ruler, and show me, uh, <laughs> show me what it is uh, when they listen to that one. And yes, I think uh, that's some of the activities that I use in my class. Okay, thank you, thank you so much for for your sharing. I think it's really useful and it's somehow effective because that is one of the focus of our our module. So when you uh, want to make your listening activities uh, active to your learners, you should uh, get them to do something and to check their understanding when they recognize the word and they, they do something to, to prove that, uh, to prove that comprehension. So give them a task, okay? That is one of the really good suggestions. Thank you, Ms. Hu. Ms. Hu. Yeah. So uh, con uh, getting back to our uh, ideas, we what we have three important things we should uh, focus on and I would like to share with everyone. Uh, the first one, okay, as a teacher, we should always repair our classroom language. This means our instruction. You know, uh, we are, our learners are at their early age. So we need to, to, to use really simple language and understandable language with a really uh, fundamental structure so that they can they, we can ensure that they understand okay, what we would like them to do and uh, what we would like them to improve in their listening activities or in their classroom activities. And the second one, okay, check your learner's comprehension. This is one of the key of the, the, the listening activity. So uh, young learners they can listen to different types of input, but how, how can you be sure that they understand what we listen? So make sure that you check their understanding, you check their comprehension uh, very frequently. And with whom uh, suggestion is one of the ways you can do that. So get your students to do something to prove that they understand the listening task. Yeah, and the last one, okay, it's the same. It's somehow similar or specific to the, the second point. Like give your learners a listening task because they need, uh, they need to have a purpose to listen a purpose to, to, to do the listening activity. So what, what do you need to do the listening activity for? So don't, don't, don't get them to just listen to this song, listen to, to uh, uh, this uh, video and that's all. Okay, thank you so much for this one. Now let's move to the second key point. It's about getting your young learners to talk. So how? Okay, I have some uh, suggestion in the chat box, pay attention and use your body language. Okay, that is the kind of the, the uh, classroom language. Body language is a significant part 
of your your classroom language as well. Yeah, especially with your young learners, your gestures, your posture, your facial expression are significant uh, in in helping them understand your lesson as uh, effectively. Yeah. Now getting back with getting your young learners to talk. So before discussing this uh, idea, I would like to ask you a short question. So, uh, should you correct your uh, learner error immediately? So, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, pro productive uh, from uh, my students. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah, it means that you uh, you want your your learners to to know how to. Because speaking activities are, are meaning based, so we don't focus on the form, mm. we focus on the meaning. So as long as my students can interact and can speak and use the language, it's good. And yeah. when yeah. you correct, you correct the mistakes. The second reason would be, you know, um, a further led to the embarrassment. They feel mm. discouraged. They feel shy. They feel they don't really want to. They're not motivated to speak next time. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So from my opinion. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. I, I really agree more with your, your point. Firstly, talking about uh, the meaning focus. Yeah. It means that in speaking activities, so you have to decide what you would like to focus on. Okay, you uh, you would like to your student to improve their communication skill, to exchange their ideas, to convey the information. Or oh, you would like to focus on grammatical structure. Yeah. So normally with speaking activities, we don't focus much on the form between on the, the grammatical structure. So just try to encourage your student, your learner to express your opinion as much as possible. Yeah, to make a, a, as long as they can make their friends uh, understand their ideas, what they want to convey in your uh, uh, utterances, right? Yeah. And the second one uh, is normal to make mistakes, help them to self-correct, right? Okay, that is a great idea. How can you uh, help students self-correct? Miss uh, Tu Cheng, could you have some, uh, some ideas about this one? Uh, yes, I, I believe that there are so many ways to help students to self-correct and one of the ways that teachers often use is that you raise your voice or you give a pause in the speaking and then uh, students can realize that there's something. Why the teacher just, just stop there or why the teacher raise the voice and you imply that you want them to talk again, to say it again. So mm -hmm. after uh, a while, then they have the feeling that when they say and they repeat the same mistake, they can feel that. Uh, also, you might use some gestures and some signs. So when they see the signs, uh, they see your gesture, they even see your facial activities, like when you mm -hmm. raise your elbow, for example, <laughs> or when you touch, uh, mm -hmm. when you touch, your forehead, for example, and they, they know there's something wrong and they have to slow down, they have to think and they hope. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it will help them uh, self-correct. And, and I, I also suggest that we can create activities in which student practice to spot in the mistakes and mm -hmm. help to fix. Yes, okay, thank you for your suggestion. Uh, if there are some, uh, some uh, effective ways if we are to to help them to, to correct their mistake, right? I think this one is actually where instead of, because you suggest some indirect way uh, for students to recognize the mistake, but instead of uh, letting them to recognize the mistake, you can repeat their ideas in a correct way. Yeah, so that they can, oh, yeah, they can realize, okay, uh, they make mistake, but they, they don't feel, okay, less confident. Yeah, because it's uh, getting back to the second idea that makes uh, an, uh, our member suggestion. Don't make your learners feel embarrassed when making mistakes. Yeah, and at, at this time, we want to focus on fluency, not accuracy. Yeah, so just speak. Uh, as fluently as possible. Yeah, you don't need to care about how many mistakes you make. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So, thank you so much for your contribution. So, with this one, we have some significant points that try to make your classroom fun, interesting, and motivating. This means you try to create a comfortable 
are more free in your classroom. So uh, the more comfortable your learners feel, yeah, uh, the more confident they want to speak and they want to share with your partners. Yeah. And the second one, don't correct your learners errors uh, explicitly in, in front of others and promote learners use the classroom uh, language. Yeah. We have uh, mentioned this in the first point. And let's move to the third thing. Frequent opportunities to move around, take breath and interact. Yeah. So why do you think we need to create frequent opportunities for students to move around, to take breath and to interact? Why do we need to do so? We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of uh, effort. But why do we have to do so? Why? Do you have any ideas? Yay. I have great ideas in the chat box. They have short attention, attention span, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah. But how? How to incorporate opportunity for interaction and sharing? What should you do to encourage your students to, to share and to interact with each other? Could you give me some activities, some specific examples, activities that you use in your classroom? Anyone would like to share on this point? What activities do you can use? Pair work, right, pair work. Okay, Miss Minh Châu, Minh Châu Nguyễn, right? Yeah, thank okay. you, yeah, yeah. Uh, in my class, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I agree that uh, with Miss Mỹ Phương, pair work in my class, we often divide it into smaller group, maybe two or three or four members in one group. So they and give them a, like a debate. And then they can have to say, practice their English and debate to each other. And then I invite one representative to present in front of the class to say right. the group idea. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have similar ideas in our chat box. Okay, Mr. May, right? Would you like to share something? Yeah, thank you. Um, first of all, I would like to divide uh, interaction into the two purposes. Uh, the first one, uh, interaction for physical focus, and the second one, interactive, uh, interaction for the new language purpose. Uh, first of all, um, you can say interacting for uh, physical terms is very important for students to can make rapport or make reachings uh, to gather. It means when a few are motivation and comfortable to work with others, they can available uh, to show their idea. Um, uh, that's the reason why it's very important to allow students to work in, sm in a small group or in pair. And similarly, you can see when a uh, student can work together and they can use language to 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 exchange information. So mm -hmm. it's very imp uh, in this case, the teacher should make uh, the learning task become more interactive. Fast. I mean, students have to um, the information gap for exchange information. For example, um, you can see when you decide the task for students to work in pair or work in a small group, you need to focus on how students use language to do the task. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the task need to be more above a phone. For example, in my case, I allow my student to make an interview to collect information from uh, their peer or their there are other students, I mean. Uh, for example, uh, you allow your student to um, uh, collect information about the, your, their family, like mm. how many people are there in your family, uh, whether your father child, whether your father do, maybe, and they can move around in the class, they can uh, take not information from other one. Uh, first one, you can see um, students can have more opportunity to um interact to uh to have them interact 
uh, for the um, uh, physical focus. And the second one, they can uh, have more opportunity to practice the, their language. So Thank this you. is my opinion. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. I really like the idea of uh, uh, getting your students to, to have kind of key information gap and uh, making your activities purposeful to your learners. When they, when they have the purpose of something, they are always motivated to do it and try to do it really effectively, right? Okay. And uh, we mentioned a lot, we have a lot of suggestions related to pair work, group work. So in this case, I think uh, these types of activities help our learners to, to have the opportunity to practice the language before sharing with others. This means that before uh, standing in front of the home class, they have the chance to, to practice what they have repeated in their pairs or uh, in their small groups. And after that, they gain more confidence and more experience be, before sharing with others. So I think that those are the key reason attributable to the success of these activities. Okay, thank you, Mr. May. Thank you, uh, Ms. Min Chiao. Yeah, uh, good sharing. Thank you. And uh, in module three, we have some suggestion about pair work or group work activities like turn and talk, think, pair, share, or stand up and sit down. Not only verbal language, with stand up and sit down, you, you can use this to encourage your students to use uh, the non-verbal language. Yeah, uh, and it's also a good way for them to, to retain what they have learned. Yeah, okay, that's good, thank you. Uh, so that's all for the sharing session now. Um, uh, I will send you uh, the, the link to tablet again so that you can uh, help us to share your resources or uh, some of the resources that you are uh, videos or practical activities that you can use in your classroom. Okay, thank you so much. Now I will turn, uh, my, uh, turn on the next activity to my partner. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Now, thank you, Ms. Wynn. Uh, could you take over this one? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tutter. Okay, next, we have, um, we have some, we can practice some songs, okay? As you know, children love singing songs and music and movement naturally connect to children's hearts children's minds and children's bodies, right? So now we have activities. Please look around you and choose one thing or one object that you like. Okay, you have one minute to prepare. I say again, please look around you and choose one thing or one object. For example, I choose, I have a toy. And I have a car, okay. It's okay, do you finish? Okay, Miss Nguyen Thị Hương, what do you have? Okay, you have a book. I have a book. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Miss um, Tuyết Nhi, what do you have? I have a pencil. You have a pencil. Yeah. What color is this? It's white. It's white. It's yeah. so good. Okay, so now I have a song with my object. For example, ah, I see Mr. Nguyen Ming Cho, right? Yeah. What do you have? I have a pen. You have a pen. Mm -hmm. You also have a pen. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Okay, so now I have an interesting song about this, about my thing. For example, I say I have a car and it's the best. I like my car. It's blue and black, right? So now I have a song about my object. I have a car and it's the best. I have a car and it's the best. I like my car, it's blue and black. I like my car, it's blue and black. I have a car and it's the best. Yay! I have a car and it's the best. Yay! 
Okay, so now your turn. Please exchange your object in this song and sing this song with your object. It's very easy, right? Okay, so now you can repeat after me. I have a car and it's the best. Okay, mm -hmm. your turn. Okay, you can turn on your microphone and you sing together. Mm -hmm. I have a car okay. and it's and the best. best. I have a car and it's and the it's best. The best. Very good. Oh my God, really, I can hear many people can sing this song. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, so now I want to invite some people and you can sing the song with your with your object. Okay. So who volunteered? Me. Who volunteer? Teach you can say teacher me, right? Uh, teacher me. Okay, I, I invite Mr. Nguyen Thị Nhan, Nguyen Thị Nhan, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I have a pen and it's the best. I have a pen and it's the best. I love my pen as uh, is red and white. I like my pen. It's white and red. I have a pen and it's the best. Yes, I have a pen and it's the best. Yes. Wow. Oh, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Okay, so now I have, I will have a gift to you. Please send your your phone number and I send your gift to you. Okay. Who next? Who want to show show your object with the this song? I hear I can hear Miss Okay, Miss Nguyen Thị Quỳnh. Nguyen Thị Quỳnh, Miss Miss Nguyen Thị Quỳnh. Yeah. Can you sing louder? Yeah. Yes. But now I have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I use. Okay, so let me sing the song. I have a phone. I have a phone and it's the best. I have a phone and it's the best. I love my phone is white and black. I love my phone is white and black. I have a phone and it's the best. Yeah, I have a phone and it's the best. Yeah. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Oh, I see Miss Ling Le. You turn on your microphone so you want to sing this song, right? Yes. It's okay. <laughs> so here, this is my object. Can everyone see it? Okay. I have Sunreen and is the best. I have Sunreen and is the best. I like my sun green is yellow and blue. I like my sun green is yellow and blue. I like my sun green and is the best. Yeah. I like my sun green and is the best. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know there are many people want to share your thing, but I'm sorry because you have leave me town. So now you have your Okay, so now Mr. Tur come back and hold the quiz. Okay, I think that we are running out of time, so we will do very do the, the quiz very quickly. Yeah. Okay, I will uh paste the link of the quiz in the chat box. Okay, could you uh, please use the link in the chat box to assess the quiz, a very quick one, so that we can grab up what we have done today. Yeah, we have some members, sorry. Uh, so sorry, because we just, uh, we, we are able to host, 
uh, the maximum number of 60 people. So if you cannot access this one, please uh, feel free to use the chat box to, to provide us with your answers. Yeah. Oh, we have 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, 37. Okay, that's great. And you have to remember, I, I have prepared some gifts for the winner. <laughs> so, great news, Miss Wood. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have 60 players already. So, open to be five. So, should I start uh, the, the, uh, the quiz now? What is your answer? If you are unable to assess the quiz, please uh, type your answer in the chat box. Textbook sources, songs, demonstration. So what's the kind of listening input? The correct answer is demonstration, okay? In teacher instruction and teacher demonstration, okay, are two uh, significant types of input. Congratulations, Cotton Candy, uh, Hong and Lin Ho. Okay, they are at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Now let's see the second question. Prepare your instruction or explanation in short language. We have talked about this already. So, what's your answer? Interchangeable, flexible, manageable, understandable. Okay, feel free to use the chat box as well. Yay, we have one. The correct answer is un understandable, right? Thank you, Miss Poon. Thank you, Miss uh, Tu Poon. Congratulations, David and Miss Wu Lei Hoon. Okay, the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, okay, next one. Number three. Thank you. Every listening activity should give young learners uh, or um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, for listening, and better yet, a task to complete. So what we need? <laughs> Thank you, Miss Min Jiao. Okay. Thank you, Miss Wang. We don't have A, B, C, D. Okay. Exercise, way, questions of purpose. Okay. Some say purpose, some say question. The answer is purpose. Okay. We have mentioned this already, right? The, the, the uh, learners, they need the purpose for any activities in their classroom. Congratulations, David uh, and Cotton Candy again. You are the, the first position. Now, question number four. Speaking activity should be, and teacher should create a comfortable atmosphere that encourages students to stick out. So, yeah. Meaning focus, controlled, and error free, or firm focus. Error free, error free. Meaning focus or error free? The answer is. We have like mainly focus. Yeah. You see that in speaking activities, don't don't try to create an error-free atmosphere. Don't try to correct your students. Yeah, okay. Just focus on the meaning, the 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 ideas they would like to exchange, not error-free, not error-free. The attention span of young learners is a lot blah 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 than that of older students. More fixed longer, shorter, or more flexible. Okay, we have some suggestions, great ideas, They're really fast. The answers, the correct answer is uh, shorter, 81% of you are uh, having correct answer. Congratulations. David, uh, Miss Poo, uh, yeah, not Poo, sorry. and Cotton Candy again, okay. We have five questions left. Songs and movement are effective at making English young learners classes engaging and fun while using a form of communication. What? Comprehensive. Reliable. I think, uh, okay, about uh, the communication. The answer is authentic. 
authentic, it means real. Okay, that's the reason why we encourage you to use songs, to use videos. Yeah, okay, so the, the language input to be authentic, to real. It's related to the, the real uh, context in their daily life. Now, next one. Children learning a second or foreign language meet meaningful, purposeful aim. Relevant activities of interest. Yeah, so religiously, sorry, uh, culturally, originally, so the correct answer is culturally. Yeah, you know, that's, that's one of the characteristics of using songs with a lot of cultural meaning behind, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, Ms. Hong and Ms. Wu Langhoon. The question number eight. Many teachers use a written song at the beginning of class. This is an example of using song for classroom. I think my partner, Ms. Wood, have mentioned this at the beginning of our presentation because we try to connect our sharing work Practices, management, some say practices, some say management. The correct, the correct answer is management, classroom management. Okay. You, when you try to set the routine for your classroom, yeah, every day we will start the lesson with a song, for example. Yeah, that is classroom management. Thank you so much. Question number nine. In turn and talk activity, the most important aspect is to rehearse and expectation with your students. Rehearse what? Turn and talk, okay. Turn to your partners and share, okay, your piece about the topic. We have one suggestion from Ms. Uh, Lin Le, right? Thank you, thank you, Ms. Uh, Mr. Ms. Nguyen, procedure, objective. Well, the correct answer is procedure. Procedure with the process, the process of doing the activity, the so what first and what coming next. It must be clear and simple for students to, to follow. Oh, congratulations, Mr. Wen Tui. Uh, we have three new names. Yeah. The last question for you to revise the, the, the sharing today. Using partners that can be a great way to model its interaction in the classroom and even aid in what? Giving instruction, communicating objective, error correction. Non-verbal communication. Puppet, puppet. Non-verbal communication. One, uh, we have one suggestion. The answer is error correction. Error correction. Because when you when you try to use the puppet to uh, demonstrate the conversation, it's a good way for you to to help students to recognize the mistake or the errors in their own conversation. Okay, that's all uh, for our wrapping up activities today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah.